So today we're reviewing the Semnos pH meter. Uh, this, my son has already uh, used one of these and he's taken it to school and they use it in the uh, science labs. Uh, they're very accurate and eminently more reusable than the likes of litmus paper. Uh, so you can get a very precise reading. So it comes in this handy uh, storage case and what you'll find in the case is the meter itself. Uh, this comes with the batteries pre-installed. The batteries are changed via this top section here. It can be pulled out and a couple of button batteries in there. It's got a handy uh, clip on the back and the main probe is actually under this cover at the front and then we've also got two buttons here so we've got a calibration button and we've got the main power button so the power button as you can see display is backlit and nice clear reading now it's not in any fluid at the minute so it's not giving a, a correct reading the calibration button is used with the other contents of the pack which I'll show you in a moment so I'll just put that to one side now what we've got in the pack that arrives is these sachets uh, you need to handle these with care and there are sachets in three different colours and what these are are uh, buffer powder so when these are added to water they will give you very precise pH levels. Now these are used in combination either you use the 4 and the 6.8 or I believe it's also the 4 and the 9 in order to calibrate the the meter. Now the meter is calibrated in the factory before it's sent out so you don't need to use these straight away uh, but if you're going to do some very precise work then you may wish to recalibrate. All of that is covered in the handy instruction leaflet that stores in the lid and this covers all the specification and the general operation and then it explains step by step exactly how to calibrate with the 6.86 and 4 solutions and on the back the 6.86 and 9.18 solutions. Uh, it's also got some notes and information about recalibration and batteries. So just to show you how quick this is, I just wanted to show you it actually in operation. So what I've got here is a glass of water so if we take the probe and power it on and if we put that in the water you can see we're getting a reading there of 7.27 for water here got some vinegar so vinegar in there and power it on again to get the backlight back you can see that fluid has changed from a pH of 7 to a pH of 4. So we know that we've gone acidic. Now, what I've also got here is uh, Milton fluid. And Milton fluid is a pretty strong alkali. So I only need to put a bit in here. But you can actually see, again, that's the display back. So I've already gone back up from that four to nearer five. And uh, if we pour some more in, you can see back up to seven and a half. And if we go further, Now we're up to eight, but you can see how the display constantly changes, giving you an accurate reading. 
So, there we go. Oh, once we're done, power it off, pop it back in the case, and ready for the next time. So, continually usable, it doesn't run out, uh, and it's already incredibly accurate from the factory. And well worth it if you're going to do any kind of experimentation or you're monitoring the acidity of fluids or of water, then this is ideal. It's again the Semlos digital pH meter. Thank you.